200% is 100% with cheese. That's why 200% is shorter. Any percent is the most competitive category, that's why I run it. It's the one that people are going to watch in marathons, people want to compete in it. So I put 100% of my focus into this category. Yeah, well... Cole, Cole is like... He was significantly better than all the TSM players right now, back when he was in his prime. So his GameCube world record was so optimized that even Xbox players are having a really hard time beating it. I mean, the guy made like three mistakes in the entire run. His run was like... Cole's world record in TSSM is just as optimized as like the strats for the strats that I use in my 10104 it's just as optimized as that and my reasoning behind that is like both of us only made a few mistakes and um, when I got the 10104 this the current strats at the time there were only 20 seconds left in the game and for Cole's current strat there were only 30 seconds but TSSM is a lot longer of a game than, than Battle, so it's understandable for him to be like a little bit farther off from his son of best than I was. Or further off. But I'm trying to get a time that's within 30 seconds of my son of best. That's my ultimate goal, but for now I just want to get a sub 101. I mean, with all the time save I have, it's hard to believe that my 10104 was a really optimized run. But for the strats that I had at the time, it really was. Two weeks have gone by, I've gotten a lot better, and um, I found a lot of new things to add to the run. Yeah, cheap percent's dead. Nobody's beaten that time. The only person who can beat that time is me, and I don't feel like beating it, so there you go, it's dead. Cole's back. He's doing runs. He hangs out with us on weekends. It isn't like he's gone. He's still around. Well, that's a skipped split. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of skip splits because like I'm home now and my like my table's on the opposite side of me. So I'm not gonna be used to really tapping the split button. Forbidden skip is just an unreliable split and dream. I mean un unreliable skip and dream. So it's like it's kind of a gamble going for it if you're like unless you're on top top optimized level. It saves 10 seconds if you go for it. But if you miss it it costs like 15 seconds. And I'm the only player who really like has to go for it in a run to save time. Like, if I don't go for it, the run can probably die. Down. It's a really stupid skip, but it got its nickname for Bidden's Kick because back in the day when nobody had to do it, it was like, yeah, we know it exists, but you don't have to do it, and I, I recommend you don't do it because it's like. It's unreliable and dumb. 
now it's like it isn't really forbidden anymore. But we still call it forbidden skip. No, that is not forbidden skip. Everyone does that. Forbidden skip is when you bowl off the block. It's when you bowl off the block to get the spatula for the bouncing ball. The slide skip is mandatory and it isn't inconsistent. A lot of beginner players find it inconsistent because they aren't very good at it, but it's, um, it isn't really that hard. I mean, for me, I think Dream is one of the easier splits, personally. My opinion as a game is, like, my opinions are very different than other people's opinions just because, like, I'm on a completely different level. But I think the hardest segments in the game are Dutchman, Mermelair, and, um... I don't know, for the sake of RNG management I mean, and inconsistency, I'd say it's really hard to get consistent splits on Industrial Park and Jellyfish Fields, too. Uh -uh. I love having the good sound quality in my the comfort of my own home, dude. Uh, the game outside of speedrunning is like, um, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really a fan of rating games because there's so much to consider. Still minus 6.5. Here's another one. I think the Mermelair is a stage that's like... There's a lot of room for error in it. And there is like an optimal time that you can get that I've proven you can get. It's like, I think it can be made faster though. I think Mermelair can, can go under 450 with a really, really good section. I mean like I've, I've toyed around with TSSM to try and get the game exposure, but I never had intentions of running it. Part of the reason why I did it was so I could practice like one frame stuff. Just getting my hands used to the time one frame precision. And since then, like, since I did learn a lot of the tricks in TSSM, I have gotten better at the one frame stuff in this game. So I've been, I've been incorporating it into a lot of uh, parts like 
I've been practicing some things with one frame stuff that I'm, I'm basically grinding out so I can use it in the future. Overall soundtrack of this game was better than the movie, but the movie does have some soundtracks that are better than the worst ones in this game. I think Jellyfish Field is one of the worst soundtracks in this game. It's like it's basically the same thing on loop. Then again, it's like a lot of pretty much most of the songs have just loops. I mean, overall, I think this movie. This game has like more, like the music is catchier. I think that the music from the movie game was better produced. Like it's more creative. Like Flying Topolis was a really creative soundtrack. But overall this game was definitely better made than the movie though because they spent more time on it. The movie game was really rushed. I, I think the soundtrack was better though for the movie game, honestly. I mean, I've. I try not to say that because I, I'm probably like biased because I'm sick of this game's soundtrack because I play it a lot. But I, I think that just like based on the creativity and the music. If you, if you put it down on paper, this music has a lot of repetitive soundtracks. Well, that's nice. I don't know what happened there. I don't know why that was a thing, but I'm fucking mad now. Because I lost my time save on that section to something stupid. I haven't gotten that fucking ledge grab in like several days. This run's starting to become shit. Hope this resets on Sponge Glide so I don't have to continue this run. Actually, um, I think I made up some time because that was really fast. So I'm on track to save time here now. Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. That game was really, I mean, it's a nostalgic bomb. It's, it isn't a very good game. It's a game that most people remember as being good from when they were a kid, but it really wasn't. A lot of design flaws in it. The movement was also like, the, the physics engine was really bad, it wasn't very smooth like this game.
This game has really good physics. Gonna be a, a run of skipped splits because my first run like home in the first time in two weeks so my computer is on the opposite side of me now my left hand isn't used to splitting wow this run's so sloppy i don't, I don't even know how much time i'm gonna be is it possible to get out of here in under 17? Yeah, it probably is. Which is kind of dumb. Like, it shouldn't be this free. It really should be a lot harder. And now that I'm, I'm making sure that I, like, I'm not, I'm going to reset if I don't get computer stock now. So I, I'm going to save time in Mermelair, too. Hero Pants is, yeah, you're, you're pretty much right about that. I mean, Hero Pants isn't even, like, the same type of a, it's like a, it's a side-scrolling, third person this game's also third person but it's like the camera the camera is really terrible on that game it just kind of hovers above the map it's kind of it looks like a little bit like league it is it's like his design its camera orientation i know nothing about league actually oh i actually saved a lot of time well wow. So, sixteen fifty one is pretty good. I think that in grinding this game to absolute bits last night was probably a good call. It seems like good runs are like pretty much automatic for me now. Some people say this game should have been cell shaded, but I disagree. I think the textures in this game are great. And um, I think people who say that haven't actually seen the Xbox version, because the Xbox version is beautiful. It's so good. If you haven't played the Xbox version on like a Sony Trinitron, I mean, it doesn't look that great when it's captured, but on a Sony Trinitron, this game looks amazing. Just try it sometime. You won't regret it. It's so good. Even with composite cables, it looks great. I'm using component cables, though. I thought Poseidon was one of the better tracks in this game because it's like it isn't very repetitive. This match 
She's just about over. Yo, Scrumps, didn't you just get partnered recently? I heard about that. Um, if you did, congrats. If not, um, sorry for mentioning it. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure you did, though. Oh wait, he doesn't have a sub button. But like, you can be partnered without a sub button though, right? Like they, you get a sub button after you fill out your tax forms, isn't that it? I'm not sure. I'm making progress. If I weren't making progress, the run would be dead. Thirty-nine grab. Fifty-four entry. That's pretty good. No way. Oh, well that's great. Um, for some reason my my cursor went over my dashboard. So that's another skip split, XD. Do I even need splits? I don't think I need splits. So stupid. I mean, I'm using a laptop. I don't really. I have a keyboard that I can use, but I don't feel like using it. I don't think I have enough USB ports. Need splits. Who needs splits? So apparently your speed doesn't stack when you're in oily state. It's interesting. I mean, I guess that makes sense because when you're in cruise boost state, it doesn't work. Overall, I, everything's just kind of sloppy right now.
Thanks, dude. The, the Got a point. I had a feeling that was really fast. I probably should have destroyed the melon. Three fifteen. This is really good. What's going on, fresh till death? We made it just in time for the run. First run of the day is going to be the run. No, nobody, nobody wants to do theater percent. Stop that meme. It's a terrible, terrible meme. It'd just be the same thing. You just, you just be grinding shiny objects. It's dumb. Nobody wants to do that. I mean, like, if you had to actually collect like keys and stuff to unlock the theater, then yeah, it'd be a real category. But like, you just have to grind forty thousand shiny objects. How is that fun? That's dumb. Not to mention that it isn't even a true test of skill because whoever has the faster loads is going to get a world record. Oh, that's great. Well, that was gold. I'm gonna miss all my splits this run. <laughs> this is so mean. I mean, 
It doesn't rip gold, because I'm going to go back. If this PBs, I'll go back and I'll see what I got. I was minus 20 though, no doubt. Mermelier is a really consistent split. Or at least now it is. Best way to do it is in Rock Bottom Museum if you had the hand enabled. Well, like, I don't like Mermelia because the split's just annoying. There are like a lot of, um, I like it because of computer sock, really. And if you don't do computer sock, you have to do TV sock, and TV sock is random and stupid. Also, prawn skip is really annoying too. I think that Mermelair is harder than Gulagoon. And again, it's my opinion, but like, my opinions are gonna like really differ from the, the rest of the community because my time is like really really optimized well that was apparently gold I don't know why that was a thing but whatever this is stupid You actually got extra credit on an essay, that's pretty funny. Yeah, I mean, I know a lot about the English language, but I'm not, like, uh, I never wanted to be a grammar cop. That's just, like, nobody likes a grammar cop. I just use the language as it's, it's, like, the way it's supposed to be used, and if people correct me, then I tell them that they're wrong. I don't, I don't go out of my way to correct people. This fuck isn't gonna screw my run again. Do -si -do and around you go. The robot better change tactics and fast. Oh shit. That could have been really bad. Could have lost like half my time save. What is Sandy going Still to one fifty. Do -si -do and around you go. Glitchless cheap percent. Are you kidding me? Who wants to watch just like bo three boss fights? That's just, that's what you're watching. Who can beat the three boss fights the fastest? That's all you're fucking watching. 
That's that's so dumb. I can't imagine why. Uh, that'd, be, that'd be such a meme. I don't, I don't even think that 41% should be a category. I think we should remove 41% as a category. I think it's really stupid. and 41% are like they're already kind of memey. I think 16% can be made pretty cool but 41% has no potential the thing is the 41% is that like you play the game up to the point where it actually gets fun and then you have to stop so who wants to do that percent yeah I remember when that was a meme back when we were making categories for this game and like one percent as an actual category was some idea that somebody had and they tried to push for it that was so dumb Welcome to I personally think that having a glitchless category in a game like this is really stupid because like there are so many glitches in this game the reason why we play it is because of its glitches and exploits. So what's the point of, like, running it if you can't do any of them? Oh yeah, Ocarina of Time has way too many categories, which is kind of weird because like the game is so competitive, it has all these memes.
That's one thing I don't understand, is like why, it's like, I mean, the game is huge, let's be real. That game has a lot of content in it, but it's like, it's an N64 game with like probably the most amount of content for like any game in its category for like at least a, almost a decade. That's probably an exaggeration, but you get the idea. Like, it's so impressive that they fit all that shit onto one cartridge. Kind of like uh, the Pokemon Gold and Silver scenario. Iwata was a fucking legend. For those of you who don't know, um, Iwata was responsible for compiling and reprogramming our, um, original Gold and Silver games. He got it so that he could fit both um, Kanto and Johto on the same cartridge. Which is pretty incredible. The guy was a living legend. My menuing is terrible today, actually. Runs pretty good. Uh, no, same one. I've been playing the same game for five months. Nah, I'm doing that after I break a certain goal that I have. I'm not gonna let the box carry me.
116 is pretty good. My new theory is hit the towers as fast as possible, as quickly as possible, because RNG is RNG, you can't really do anything about it. It's possible, like, I learned recently that it isn't about a cycle. Like, the, the cycle isn't random, the, the actual spawns are random. Lost all the time that I save on Drain the Lake, which is fine, I guess. I tried to correct my angle, but I couldn't do it. Still at 24. So I'll lose like three seconds, I guess. Yeah, the original Xbox has backward compatibility with the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, 59 isn't really a meme anymore. Now it's like, when's it gonna happen? Or when are we gonna get the strats for it, rather? has gold potential now. I got that cruise cancel. New skips, and I also stopped being bad. Like, really minor optimizations that helped a lot. 
as I perfected them. Menuing still bad. Ooh, that was low, but um, I think we're gonna be fine. Yeah, we're good. Okay, good. Nice. You just met the sponginator. Uh, the longest segment is Mermelair 1. I'm pretty sure it is. Joke's on you guys, I strategically missed splits so I wouldn't get nervous. Kappa. Oh. 
Oh shit, no, stop it. That's alright. Actually, this is still gold paste. I missed, I missed four splits, that's great. to neutralize the giant robot's brain? So, no tartar sauce skip. But, like, here's the thing, though. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> this is a god run. This is a fucking god run. I saw this, like, a few menuing errors, I guess. And missing splits like a dummy, because, you know, I was so focused, you know, I was just trying not to, uh, whatever, I'm not going to make excuses, I miss splits, whatever, I'll upgrade, I'll update them when I finish this god run, and right about now, <laughs> wow, dude, <laughs> one flat 30, I just destroyed my PV, I just destroyed it, I fucking killed it, dude, now, what I was saying, um, I was tripping over my own words as I was trying to contain my excitement, but um, I'm gonna update these splits. I'm gonna go back and figure out if I got a gold on Mermelair and whatnot. Oh shit, dude. So hype! Dude, we are so close to 59. We just need like new strats and stuff. But this is exactly the run I wanted to get. I knew that I was capable of getting within like around 40 seconds of my summer best with a run. So this is the run that I wanted to get, and I'm very happy that I finally got it. So uh, now I have to do like task strats to improve this time, or at least to, I mean, I don't have to, but it's going to help a lot if I just go for Hammer Skip and maybe uh, Spongebob Museum just to save some time if I don't make any mistakes anywhere else. But yeah, I'm so glad that I just got this. This is crazy. Wow, dude. Chat's going nuts. Everyone is getting global. Just like old times, man. Oh, man, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> I was yelling a lot last night when I was, um... I dropped three... No, not three. I dropped, like, five runs that were paced for sub-101, and I was like, I'm never gonna get this time. And I'm glad that I didn't get it offline, because, um... First run of the day was this. Honestly, you know what I think it is? That when I'm in college, like, when I'm in my dorm, I always put, like, shit... 
Is it a coincidence that the last time I PB'd was, um, not last Friday, but the Friday before that? And that was when I was home playing this on, in my basement like I am now? So, um, I think I'm gonna stop getting discouraged when I start playing like shit when I'm at college, when I'm in school, because the conditions really aren't that great. Um, my sound cues are kind of bad because the audio isn't as sharp. There's a lot of things that aren't really, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna stop giving myself such a hard time for having bad runs. I'm really happy that this happened tonight, guys, and I'm glad you were all here to see it. GG.